easiest example I always use is Hitler. And I've had students do this exercise. Like if you can't come to grips with the fact that you could have easily been Hitler, you haven't done enough shadow work. Until I gained power, until I gained wealth, until I gained influence, I didn't understand it. I thought these people were horrible. I thought I was so much better than them. It was just that I hadn't been handed that many opportunities in my life. I wasn't in a position to even take advantage of other people. And now that I am in a position where I could easily take advantage of other people, that is where I've had to become keenly aware of this and do the real work. The scariest person is the person who's like, I could never be that, it's them. No, this is the collective consciousness. Those people that we call evil, they are our shadows. They are what we are capable of becoming if we go down the wrong path. If we are around bad influences enough, we all can be Epstein. We all can be Hitler, P. Diddy, whoever. Like obviously these people aren't doing that kind of work, which is why they go down these paths. So what does that say about you if you don't do that work? If you don't stop pointing the finger out there and just look in here and say, look, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. I don't know their life. I don't know what caused them to be where they are like you said, I can only know what's caused me to be where I am and I can heal that and forgive that and transmute that. And if we don't each individually do that, the collective shadows can't be transmuted into light because we'll keep carrying those energies forward into the next generation. So this is obviously what we were talking about when we said that the theme of today was going to be shadow work and specifically, obviously the, the child trafficking stuff is, is dark, but I think it's easy to sit here and be like, that is just detestable and drop into that duality, right? Good versus evil and all that. Well, first off, we don't even understand what's actually going on. We don't. We're starting to have a, some semblance of it, but we really don't fully understand. Yeah. Let alone do we understand what it's like to be groomed in this industry. We don't know how much of this is forced, right? Because that seems to be Diddy what he's been doing. So it seems to be a thing of very powerful people. They're all in on this thing. They all know the game. And the game is if you want to come into power... We have to get dirt on you. We have to film it. And then we yeah. hold that for your entire life. And if you ever go against us, we will leak it and ruin your career, which is the only thing you care about if you're power hungry. That seems to be the Diddy model. He's been doing it for decades. So that's how, that's the problem with this. It's going to implicate everyone who's come to power. <laughs> yeah. So like, we don't understand, like, it's easy to sit here and be like, oh, these are horrible people, right? Like, you brought up, like, Bieber or, like, any of these people. But we don't know, like, what did they, who chose this path? Who was forced into this path? Who started with good intentions, right? Like, the, the cliche is the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I'm just so keenly aware of my shadow and thus the human shadow that I would be remiss if I didn't bring up because I know a lot of audience is going to watch this and be like, this is despicable. Like we need to just get yeah. them all out of here. And it's like, but what happens when they are you? The only difference is they're in different circumstances and they fed the wrong voice inside of them. That's it. Mm -hmm. So when I yeah. talk about shadow work, it's not us pointing at them like, yeah, fuck Diddy. They all need to burn like child sickos. Anyone who touch like we see this a lot, Aaron, anyone who touches children should die. Mm -hmm. Like everything else is forgivable, but anything with a kid, it's like, okay, totally understand. I get it. Yeah. But if you keep sitting with this or you go a high enough spiritual perspective, it's not them who's doing shadow work. It's us. It's all of us. Because that is in us and it's 2024. And the easiest example I always use is Hitler. Most people, and I've had students do this exercise, like if you can't come to grips with the fact that you could have easily been Hitler, you haven't done enough shadow work. I was so naive to this. I don't know about you, Aaron, but until I gained power, until I gained wealth, until I gained influence, I didn't understand it. 
I thought these people were horrible. I thought I was so much better than them. But you know what it actually was? It was just that I hadn't been handed that many opportunities in my life. I wasn't in a position to even take advantage of other people. And now that I am in a position where I could easily take advantage of other people, and so could you, Aaron, that is where I've had to become keenly aware of this and do the real work. Because when you don't truly own your shadows, honor your shadows and, and transmute them, that's the scariest shit. The scariest person is the person who's like, I could never be that. I could never do that. It's them. They need to repent. And it's like, no, this is the collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. This is an issue of the ego itself. And we have to burn away these old patterns. And for anyone who has not become a multi, multi, multi millionaire, you don't understand. You just don't understand. Anyone who hasn't built a level of influence, let's remove money, a level of influence where thousands of people would follow you, jump off a bridge if you convince them to, and you could convince them to, that is a level of power most of you watching this don't understand. Think about these people and the position that they're in. They're drinking their own Kool-Aid for so long, they're actually in a psychosis. Mm -hmm. So I view this as like, once again, we need to create systems to guardrail ourselves from our own lower nature, from our own lower drives, because I don't see this as a thing. Of course, mental illness is real. Of course, there's perversions and everything. But at the end of the day, it's all just like consciousness. And I don't see this as a thing of some people are monsters and others aren't. I think this is an aspect of we can't possibly understand what it's like to be in Hollywood, to have been groomed. A lot of these people were raped when they were a child, and that just fucks you for the rest of your life. You, you'll be dealing with that. A lot of these people were manipulated and humiliated in ways that you can't fathom. And so for the rest of their life, they're operating in the lowest levels of consciousness, guilt and shame. You are so easily controllable. If you've excuse my language, taking it up the ass. As a man, do you know the shame you would carry if you, that was forced on you as a child? You're yeah. easy to manipulate now. Huge shadow. And yet we probably look at these people and we just see how they're playing it out as an adult and we're like, they're monsters. And it's like, we don't know that, right? And so to me, the work we can do is of course pray for them, but also understand that you are them. And the more you point the finger, the more you don't understand yourself. Read history. Humans can be dark. That doesn't make us dark. It's just that we are the full spectrum. So uh, yeah, I wanted to share that a little bit for the for the love and light crowd. <laughs> you know. Yeah, man, it really good, really good rant on that topic. And you know, we talk about this all the time on this show. It's not even that, like those people that we call evil, the P. Diddy's, the Epstein's, like they are our shadows. You know what I mean? Yeah. They are what we are capable of becoming if we go down the wrong path, if we are traumatized enough, if we are around bad influences enough, we all can be Epstein. We all can be Hitler, P. Diddy, whoever. Do you think Epstein spent any time looking at his shadows? He spent time feeding them. Right. Like how many hours a day or a week does Bill Gates spend looking in introspectively to look at his shadows? Negative 30 minutes? Negative. Like obviously these people aren't doing that kind of work, which is why they go down these paths. So what does that say about you if you don't do that work? If you don't stop pointing the finger out there and just look in here and say, look, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. I don't know their life. I don't know what caused them to be where they are, like you said. I can only know what's caused me to be where I am and I can heal that and forgive that and transmute that. And if we don't each individually do that, the collective shadows can't be transmuted into light because we'll keep carrying those energies forward into the next generation. Yep. You know, we can't, we can't blot out sin and evil on this planet by killing people who are pedophiles because killing is also a negative act and you can't erase a negative with a negative. We can only raise the consciousness of humanity through love and forgiveness which doesn't mean we allow these things to keep happening. 
to all of you who think it does. Right. Forgiveness doesn't mean we say, keep on trafficking children. Yes. Yep. We forgive you. No, it means we don't put you out of our heart and we will stop you from trafficking children. Right. We will not make you an enemy. We will not put you outside of the divine. We will say you are also our brothers and sisters who've wandered far, far away from the truth of self. And so we alone can remind you who you are by holding you accountable, showing you the light, and demonstrating the light. And so we still strive to end injustice and trafficking and all these things while not hating the people that perpetuate them because hating is negative. And so we keep negative energy vibrating through the consciousness of humanity, which perpetuates more greed, more shame, and more guilt, more trauma, which creates more child traffickers, and on and on the cycle goes. So we have to raise the frequency of the planet to a place where those kinds of things are no longer possible. We can't murder it off the planet. We can't kill it off the planet. No more than you can cut your arm off to get rid of a wound, right? You only make the wound worse. And that's the hard part about shadow work, right? Is you've got to be willing to face the Epstein within yourself, the <laughs> Hitler within yourself, and acknowledge that there is a trace of that energy in you if you've ever been greedy, if you've ever had a perverted sexual thought, then that lives in you. And if you feed it enough, you can become like that. It's, it's in all of us, right? So none of us are better than anyone. We should simply have deep compassion and empathy for those who have wandered that far into the shadow lands of darkness and separation and say, whoo, you've got a long, torturous, painful karmic path to walk yeah. to get back where I am into the light. I'm so sorry, my brother. I wish you all the best on your journey and I forgive you. Yep. That's what we should do to raise the frequency of the planet. I know it's not easy, but guess what? It becomes easier the more you connect with the truth of what we're saying, that truly no one is the doer of their actions. Everyone has been traumatized by their life. They were raped, abused, abandoned at that age, which created a trauma that caused them to seek for approval from others. These things just keep going on and most people have no self-awareness to, to look inside themselves and understand the deep subconscious causes for their actions. So let's not waste any time adding more negative energy is what I think I hear you saying, yep. Jeremy, and what I echo back. Let's just be about doing the work and creating as much light within ourselves as we can create and spreading that through the planet. If you liked this clip and you want to watch another one that we think you'll love, click right here. If you want to watch the full episode, Click right here. We'll see you next time.